to a horse who was all about speed and power. The only horse to win three Group 1 sprints at Royal Ascot, and that horse is Blue Point. Now, his first foals are on the ground now. Eamon, do you like what you see? Oh, yeah, he's stamped them, there's no doubt. You know their Blue Points when you walk out into that field. They have that bit of presence, but the strength and quality. They have the Chamonix head, but not, not the typical Chamonix head, but they definitely have those qualities. And uh, I've, we've seen we've seen quite a few nice foals by Blue Point here in Kildangan so far, and definitely with our, out with our clients as well. There is no doubt about it. They are nice. And am I right in thinking he's had quite an interesting selection of, of mares? There's no doubt the best mare, the best mare that he covered was probably the Dama Palace Pier, and she has a, a cracking, cracking blue point foal in the ground. But there's plenty, of, there's plenty of backup to her to uh, produce a good blue point. But he's taking some of those those classic type mares as well, isn't he? he? He's not. People aren't just looking to breed a sprinter by him, even though he clearly was a brilliant sprinter himself. Oh yeah, no, no doubt. I think people were just so impressed by him. He was out on his own last year as the best stallion that retired to stud, um, bar none, I think. And people respected that and sent him their best mares, you know. So the mare quality that he covered is exceptional. Well, Eamon, it sounds like you've got masses to look forward to. Thanks so much for talking to us today. And now we are going to meet a breeder who has the good fortune to have one of those foals by Blue Point. Matt, perhaps first we can start by asking what it was you liked about the stallion. Well, I suppose his race record, Nick, for starters, I mean, he raced a long career, a brilliant two-year-old, um, beat some very good horses, and he's consistently ran in two, three, and four, always in the frame. Um, so we were very keen to use him anyway, and then we went to see him, obviously, with, with Harry, and uh, absolutely loved him. I mean, beautiful-looking horse, very correct, uh, lovely, deep, rich colour, good hind leg. I mean, everything about him was what we'd hoped it would be, uh, and uh, we sent two mares from the farm to him. Obviously, any stallion first crop in, in Kildang and commercially is attractive, a son of Shamardal. And uh, we chose a mare that we, we thought was a penalty kick in producing a nice foal. And the other mare was, you know, a, a mare having our second foal. So we didn't have as, as good a proven record with her. But both foals, exceptional colts. I mean, um, I think it's a case of black cat, black kitten. I mean, both foals look very, very like him. Same colour, just a, a, a beautiful attitude. Uh, both absolutely uh, beautiful calls from day one. So I did actually call the boys in Kalang and I said, we got a real one here. I think he's got certainly got two from two here, but two nil up here, definitely. 